Look around your kitchen. There's a good chance you have an air fryer, a pan, or a rice cooker that's coated in nonstick chemicals that you're using every day to make eggs or cook dinner for your kids. It looks pretty harmless, right? That's the problem. What if I told you that pan you trust isn't just coated in convenience? It could be leaching toxic chemicals into your food every time you cook. I'm talking about PFAS, AKA forever chemicals, which are a huge class of nearly 15,000 chemicals linked to hormone disruption, cancer, and suppressed immunity, even at low doses. And the longer you're exposed to them, the more they accumulate in your body. Now this isn't about fear, it's about facts. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through what's really going on with nonstick pans, why PFOA free doesn't mean safe, and which low tox science-backed alternatives you can switch to without stress or overwhelm. This one simple change could protect your family's health for years to come, so let's get into it. To understand how we got here, let's rewind because when you learn how these materials were first developed, it becomes clear that they were never designed for cookware. In 1938, a DuPont chemist accidentally discovered a waxy substance while experimenting with refrigerants, and it was basically indestructible. That compound later came to be known as PTFE or Teflon. At first, PTFE, which is a type of PFAS, was used in military and industrial applications. And it wasn't until the 50s that it found its way into the kitchen. So PFOA or perfluorooctanoic acid is another type of PFAS that is part of the Teflon process. This one also doesn't break down and is also toxic. Studies have shown that PFOA is detectable in the blood of nearly every American person. PFOA was eventually phased out, but here's the issue. Just because your cookware says PFOA free doesn't mean it's free from other PFAS compounds, many of which carry similar or identical toxic concerns. I need to call BS on something. You'll hear doctors saying that Teflon only off gases when you heat the pan above 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius and argue that no one would ever cook at such a high temperature. Well, if they even bothered to read the studies, they would know that Teflon or PTFE volatilizes starting at 482 degrees Fahrenheit or 250 Celsius, which is easily reached in normal kitchen cooking. These vapors can trigger polymer fume fever, a flu-like reaction that hits hardest in sensitive populations like kids, asthmatics, and pets. And brief exposures to birds can be fatal. It's also known as Teflon flu. But the bigger concern is what you don't see, and that's the chronic low level exposure that builds over time. A common misconception is that brand new nonstick pans that are unscratched don't leach, but research shows that both new and old nonstick pans leach PTFE into food, even when a silicone whisk is used, which is a lot of what people try to do to prevent scratching in the first place. And when the pan gets scratched or worn down, PTFE can degrade and release millions of particles into your food. Here's the thing, PFAS are endocrine disruptors, meaning they interfere with hormones, which affects everything like fertility, thyroid health, metabolism, immune balance, and even our cognition. And the research keeps mounting. We now know that PFAS exposure is linked to kidney and testicular cancers in people, suppressed immune response, developmental and metabolic disruptions, especially during pregnancy and early childhood. And studies have linked PFAS exposure to obesity in children. So let me just pause here and say something important. This is not about panic, it is about power. When you understand the science, you can take action without fear or overwhelm. I get this question all the time. If my pan says PFOA free, doesn't that mean it's safe? It's a totally fair assumption, but also one of the most misleading claims in the industry. When PFOA came under scrutiny, manufacturers didn't eliminate the risk. They replaced it with Gen X, a newer chemical in the same PFAS family, which is marketed as a safer alternative. But the toxicology data paints a totally different picture. Gen X has been linked to liver toxicity, immune dysfunction, and reproductive harm. So yes, your pan might be labeled PFOA free, but that doesn't mean it's PFAS free or risk free. This is what toxicologists call regrettable substitution, which is swapping one toxic chemical for another one that's just as harmful, but maybe not known to the public, so there isn't a demand to get rid of it. And this is why it's so important to understand label claims so we can make informed and empowered decisions. Now let's bring this back to real life because this isn't just theoretical. In 2023, a major study found that people with elevated PFAS levels in their blood had a significantly higher risk of developing kidney and testicular cancer. 
Another meta-analysis showed that PFAS exposure interferes with reproductive hormones like estrogen and testosterone, affecting menstrual cycles, sperm quality, and fertility. So if you're trying to get pregnant, avoiding PFAS as much as possible and other endocrine disruptors is key. If you want to learn how to quickly avoid endocrine disruptors, I created a free cheat sheet and training, which you can download in the description below. PFAS have been linked to asthma, weakened immunity, and developmental delays in children. So let's picture this. A mom is cooking dinner and she's doing her best because she wants to serve healthy home cooked meals to her family. Her pan says it's PTFE free, so she thinks it's safe. But each time she's using it, tiny particles of PFAS could be leaching into her family's food every single day. Now this isn't about guilt, it's about awareness. I also used nonstick cookware for years because I didn't know about the risks. Because when we're equipped with the truth, we are empowered to protect our health and our families. Here's the good news, you have options. A huge part of my mission is to share the solutions to the problem of toxins, not just scare you into being afraid of every single chemical because there are solutions. You don't need to throw out everything or spend a fortune. You just need to start with one smart swap. Here's what I have found to be of least concern when it comes to cookware. Number one is cast iron. It's naturally nonstick when properly seasoned, it's chemical free and can add dietary iron for those who are actually deficient in it. Stainless steel, durable, versatile, and completely non-toxic. Ideal for sauteing, browning, and deglazing. Just preheat it properly and use oil. Pure ceramic. I personally use ceramic cookware, not to be confused with ceramic coated nonstick cookware. The ones I'm referring to are made entirely of ceramic and fired at high temperatures. I trust these pans because they've been tested for cadmium and lead leaching and exceed California Prop 65 standards, plus they do not contain PFAS. Not only have the finished glazed pieces been tested, but the unglazed ceramic has been tested for leaching as well, and they both pass, which means if the cookware is scratched, there is little to no concern about cadmium or lead leaching at dangerously high levels, which would warrant concern. The issue with these is that they do not work on induction stoves, so in that case, your best bets are cast iron or stainless steel. Here are some tips to make swapping your cookware lower cost. First, start with replacing your most used pan. Look for pre-seasoned cast iron at secondhand stores. This is often cheaper and better seasoned. Watch for sales from reputable brands during holidays. And remember, this is not about perfection. It is about progress. So are nonstick pans slowly poisoning you? The research says they can contribute to long-term health risks, especially when scratched, overheated, or used frequently. But this is not a call to panic, it's a call to action. Because when you understand what's really behind the label and the marketing, you take back control. You don't have to do everything at once, I can't stress that enough. You don't have to spend a fortune, you just need to start with one informed choice at a time. If you found value, hit the like and subscribe button. Now that you know about cookware, check out these videos for more low talk swaps you can make in your home. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.